Slam that like button if you love cookies. Wow, that was a great movie. But uh, I'm getting kind of tired. I have work in the morning. Oh, Dad, you're so old. You have to go to bed at like 9.30. Um, no, I have to go to bed because I have a job and be responsible. Nah, you're also old. You're so old, you're like practically a zombie. Seriously? You think I'm that old? Uh, yeah. Are you getting cravings for brains, Dad? Okay, I'm going to bed. Good night, everybody. Good night, Dad. Well, I'm going to watch another movie. Sounds fun to me. Well, I'm going to bed as soon as I finish my apple. What's up with all these old people going to bed early? Well, Molly, I guess we're just zombies. We need our rest. And some brains. Brains. You can't eat mine, Mom. You can't eat mine. Molly, shh. I'm trying to watch the end of the movie. Daisy, we just started this movie. No, I turned it to family life. I never did get to see the end of this. Daisy, turn it back to Survivor. I want to watch that movie. It just started. Molly, I'm watching the end of this. I missed it the other day because I fell asleep. Oh, fine. It's only on for another 15 minutes. How much longer is this? Molly, it's, it's only a few minutes more. Oh, okay. Daisy, how much longer is this movie? Molly, I told you it's just a few minutes more. This is really starting to annoy me. Daisy, I'm hungry for brains. I got so bored, my brain turned into a zombie. Molly, quit being ridiculous. Okay, can I watch my movie now? I'm really sick of watching this. Yep, it's all over, but you should probably go to bed. It's after 10 o'clock, and you won't want to get up for school in the morning. Nonsense. Only babies and super old people go to bed this early. I'm going to stay up and watch my movie, even though I missed the first 15 minutes of it because of you. Whatever, Molly. Good night. Good night. Oh, hello. It's midnight. Um, I better get to bed. Molly, Molly, it's time for school. Molly, wake up. Huh, what? Oh, yeah, totally awake, Mom, totally. Molly, you have to open your eyes. You don't look awake. Okay, I'll open them. See? I'm, I'm, I've got an eye open. I'm, I'm awake. Only one eye, Molly? What about the other one? The other eye is still asleep, Mom. But don't worry, I'm, I'm, I'm awake. Okay, Molly. <laughs> Come down for breakfast. You don't want to be late. Okay, Mom. Sure thing. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> Molly, you told me you were awake. You fell back asleep. Oh, what? No, no, I didn't. Uh, I'm totally awake. Molly, get out of bed. You're going to miss breakfast and you're going to miss the bus. Too late. You've already missed breakfast. Just get dressed so you can go down the bus. And let me actually see you getting up. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, head over to the dresser, Molly, and get dressed. Okay, Mom. Oh, she's gone. Good. Back to bed I go. Okay, that's it. I've had it. Ah! Mom, what are you doing? Ah, that's freezing! Now are you awake? Yes! I'm definitely awake! Good! Now you can get ready for school. The bus is gonna be here in five minutes, Molly. Ah, bus schmush. Molly! Okay, fine. OMG! <laughs> I love this Star Squad video! <laughs> it's awesome. Well, Molly, I'm going to bed. Don't stay up late tonight. You didn't want to get out of bed this morning for school. Okay, Mom. I won't stay up late. Okay. See you in the morning. Bye, Mom. Good night. Oh, man. Oh, I love the Star Squad videos. Molly, why aren't you doing your night routine? It's already almost 9.30. Who are you, Mom? 
No, I'm your sister, and I'm the one that tells you that you should go to bed because you don't want to get up for school in the morning. Yeah, like I said, you're trying to pretend that you're my mom. And guess what? You're not. You're just like the same age as me, and you're my sister, and you can't boss me around. Okay, fine. Have it your way. you got to get grounded when you don't get up in the morning. Yeah, right. Oh my gosh. Look at this YouTube video. <laughs> it's awesome. Must watch more Star Squad. Wait a minute. Is it 3 a.m.? Holy guacamole! I need to get to bed. Ugh. I have to wake up in three hours. Ugh. I'm so tired. But watching all those videos was so worth it. My alarm went off, and I've been awake. I already worked out. I already brushed my teeth. Congratulations. You're the winning daughter of them all. But this daughter is sleeping still. Molly, if you don't get up, I'm telling Mom. And you're going to get grounded for the rest of your life. Oh, okay, Daisy. How late did you stay up last night, Molly? I don't want to talk about it. Tell me, Molly. 3 a.m. Molly! Oh my gosh, who stays up till 3 a.m.? What are you, crazy? Ah, uh, yeah, I think a little bit. Ow, I ran into the table. Molly, open your eyes. I can't, they're glued shut. Really, Molly? Seriously? Yeah, that's what happens when you don't get enough sleep. Oh, now how do I get to the bathroom? Oh yeah, here we go. Well, look who's well. You're not wide awake, but you're at least out of bed. Congratulations, Molly, I'm so excited. Uh -huh, whatever you say. I'm excited because you're acting like a good kid and doing what you're supposed to. Sure am, Mom. Sure am. Okay, we're going to go back to sleep. This seems like a good spot. Is that water right here running? What could that be from? Oh, someone must have left the bathtub on. Molly, are you sleeping in the bathtub? Huh? What? No, no. Taking a bath. Getting ready. Molly, you came in here just to trick me and sleep in the bathtub. Now, if you're late from school, for school today, you're going to be grounded for a week. Come on, now. I'm awake. I'm awake. Get ready for school. Hurry. So tired. So tired. Ugh. Why am I at school and not home in bed? Wait a minute. Maybe I could just pretend I was home and skip out on class and take a nap. Good morning, Daisy. Good morning, Mrs. Lynn. I'm so ready to learn all the things in English today. That's great. Well, where's your sister Molly? Did she stay homesick or did she just skip school? Uh, no, she came to school today. She should be here. Hmm, that's strange. Class started five minutes ago. What do you suppose she is? I have no idea, but you might want to go look for her. Hmm, maybe she has a tummy ache and she went into the bathroom. Molly, are you in here? What's that sound? Is that Molly sleeping on the bathroom floor? Molly, wake up! Huh? What? What's happening? What's happening is you have detention. Oh, man! <laughs> Mommy, mom, mom, mommy, mommy, mommy. What, Molly? I'm trying to relax. Yeah, but mom, I, I'm hungry. Can I have some more ice cream? Molly, you just had a popsicle less than an hour ago. No more sugar. If you're hungry, get a healthy snack. But mom, I want ice cream. <laughs> Absolutely not, Molly. Healthy snacks only for the rest of the day. Fine, but I'm just going to be annoying then. Mom, 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 mom. Molly, unless you want to be it, getting a timeout like a baby gets, uh -oh. I suggest you find something to do. Fine. Five minutes later. Hey, Mom, I'm going to go out and have a yard sale, okay? Um, wait a minute. Why does that box say Mom's stuff? Ooh. Oh, it's just a bunch of useless stuff you never use anymore. I'm going to try to sell it to the neighbors. Molly, 
Let me see what's in that box. My toothbrush? Oh, you're gonna try to sell my toothbrush? That's gross. No one's gonna want a used toothbrush. Um, but you're a famous YouTuber, so they may. <laughs> my wedding flowers? Molly, you can't sell my wedding flowers. Mom, they're dead. Just let it go. Molly, my trophy from when I won a spelling bee when I was in third grade? Yeah, <laughs> I bet that's worth a million. Molly, I cannot sell any of this stuff. Why are you trying to sell my stuff anyway? Because I need money to go to the ice cream store to buy ice cream, since you won't let me eat any here. Molly, I'm serious. Go to your room and find something to do. Ooh, fun. Whoa, what's in this box? Uh oh. Green stuff. Fun! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ma! <laughs> oh, oh, demon! Demon in my house! Ooh. Mom, it's just me. I was I was playing in the Halloween stuff. That's it. You're getting a job. What? Why? Because I need you to get out of this house. You're driving me crazy. Why can't you be like Daisy and go get a job somewhere? Because I'm not boring, and also I'm lazy. We know I can't have a job, Mom. Also, do you think this is a good costume for Halloween? It's terrifying, right? Molly, I almost had a heart attack. You are going to go get a job, and then you'll have all the ice cream money you could ever want. Well, she does have a point. Okay, see you later. I'm going to go get a job. Molly, you need to take off that mask first. No one's going to give you a job wearing that. Well, maybe Spirit Halloween. But they're not open yet, so... Take off the mask. Okay, fine. Ooh. According to this ad, the daycare is hiring. That seems like a great job. I'm pretty good with kids. Hi, how can I help you today? Hi, I'm Molly and I'm looking for a job. I saw this ad that you needed someone to help. Um, yeah, okay, what's your experience? I babysat a few times and I have a baby sister. Um, and I've changed your diaper when I have yes. to. <laughs> but I prefer not to change diapers if I don't have to. Oh, well, you may have to here. Are you okay with that? Uh, yeah, I really need a job. Also, our daycare is a little different. Our children are, well, um, special. Let's put it that way. Special? I'm special too. Um, did you know that I can eat 20 burritos just for lunch? Uh, no, <laughs> but this is a different kind of special. These children are very in touch with their emotions. Oh, sounds fine to me. <laughs> if they get sad, I'll feed them a burrito. If they get mad, I'll feed them a burrito. If they get too happy, I know they'll have eaten a lot of burritos. Mm. Um, I don't know. I mean, this job is really hard. Please, lady, I need a job. If I go home without a job, my mom is going to be so mad. Okay. You can have the work. Yay! Uh, so what do we do first? Well, first I think you should meet the kids who go to daycare here. Come with me. Okay, let's do this. Ew, the blue girl was crying so much snot came out of her nose. And it was disgusting. I don't like her at all. Um, okay. Um, there's a blue kid and a green kid and... I don't even know what to do right now. I told you, they're very in touch with their emotions. This is sadness, and this is disgust. Oh, those are weird names. Those are just their nicknames. It's what they want to be called. <laughs> I don't like it here. I just feel so sad. I want to go home. Ooh. Oh, sadness, it's going to be okay. Ew. She, she's just so gross. Look at all those tears falling on the floor. It's gross. Um, disgust? Maybe if you stop saying she's gross about everything. Well, did you see the boogers coming out of her nose? Um, that's sort of what happens when you're crying a lot. I don't like it. I want to go home. Well, I want to go home too. <gasps> I told you this is going to be a hard job. Uh, good luck. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, Molly, you can do this. You need ice cream money. Okay, Sadness. I know you want to go home, but do you want to play toys with me? 
Ew, toys have lots of germs. That's disgusting. Okay, well, if I use some hand sanitizer on the toys, would you like to play too, Disgust? Uh, yeah, I'll think about it. I don't know. I just feel so sad. Trust me, this will probably make you feel better. Hi, everybody! <laughs> this is the best day ever. This is the best day ever. Oh, great. Here comes Joy. She's so annoying. She's so annoying, it's disgusting. I wish I could be that happy. <laughs> Whoa. She wasn't kidding. Each one of you have a very distinct emotion. Joy, disgust, yeah. sadness. Yeah, this is going to be so fun. Come on, guys. Let's play toys with, with this new person. Wait, what's your name? Molly. Molly, that's the best name ever. I love it. I love it. I love it. Your name is like so beautiful and so cool. Ew, she's such a teacher's pet. That's disgusting. This is the cutest hippopotamus I've ever seen. Then why are you crying about it? Because it's so cute, it must make all the other hippos feel bad. <laughs> I love this monkey. It's adorable. Aww. Ew, those toys are so gross. Hey, disgust, look what I have. What? A balloon? Yeah, I thought you might like this. And don't worry, it's been hand sanitized. But it's the same color as you. What do you think? Um, well, um, I really like it. Awesome! Here you go. What? It's blue now. Oh, sorry, that's just Brookhaven. <laughs> you don't really get to choose your color. But I wanted green. This blue color is disgusting. Ugh. I almost want to give up with this girl. Ugh. Yeah, well, that would just figure. Every other teacher didn't understand me either. Look, Disgust, I'm really sorry that you think everything's, well, disgusting, but not everything is, well, disgusting for, you know, I can't find any other words to say. Everything's disgusting. That's right. Disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. No, not everything's disgusting. Okay. <sighs> this is making me think too hard. Whoops! And stink too hard! Ew! Now that really is disgusting! Um, oopsie! Ooh. Uh, guys, I'm gonna go into the bathroom and eat a chocolate bar and pretend that I don't have this job because it's a lot harder than I thought it would be. Be right back in ten minutes! Ah. Whoa! <laughs> be careful, Sadness! You're making so many tears on the floor, I'm gonna slip and fall. Well, maybe you should stop dancing. Your dancing is so gross. It is not. It's awesome, Disgust. Why are you even saying that? Oh, no, guys. Don't look now, but look who's coming. But you just told us not to look. So should we look or should we not look? I don't know. I can't make up my mind. <laughs> oh, you guys are such babies. What are you talking about, Anger? You're a baby, too. I'm not a baby. I'm a toddler. There's a difference. Learn the difference, Joy. And quit being so happy. You're so annoying all the time. Well, I think you just need to turn that frown upside down. <laughs> oh, you make me want to scream. You make me want to puke lava. You make me want to blow my top. <laughs> You're so mean, Anger. Ugh, this whole thing is so disgusting. You know what's disgusting? Is, is, is this preschool? Is this daycare? Is this, this whole place? I hate it here. I don't like it. I want to go home. I want to watch TV. I, uh-oh. I just pooped my pants. <laughs> Somebody better change me right now. Ew. I'm not changing your diaper. Gross. Ew. It smells bad. Ugh. Don't even look at me with that dirty diaper. It's disgusting. What about you? <laughs> You're all useless. What am I gonna do about this dirty diaper? I don't know. Party, party. <laughs> Ew, you can't dance with poop in your pants. That's disgusting. Finally, someone sees it my way. Everything's disgusting. Hey, wait, where's Molly? She said she's eating a candy bar. She'll be back soon. 
Well, she could change Anchor's diaper. Then none of us would have to worry about it. Ew, yes. better her than me. Dirty diapers are disgusting. Where is this Molly servant? She needs to change my diaper right now. There she is, she's back. And it looks like she has chocolate on her face. Gross. Ooh. Wait, I do? Oh yeah, I totally do. I was saving some of that chocolate for later. Mm. Delicious. Ew, disgusting. Who's that guy over there in the corner? Oh, <laughs> that's Anger. Good luck with him. He's got a poopy diaper. Say what? Okay, I don't think this job is worth ice cream money. I really don't. He's angry and he's got a poopy diaper? That's right. <laughs> What's wrong, Molly? Don't you like this job? I think you should love it! Yes. Nope! I'm out of here! I quit! Did you hear that, Poo Poo Pants? She quit because of you. Ow! Because you're that disgusting. What? Who's gonna change my poopy diaper? I, I, I'm so angry! Ugh, so angry! OMG, Anger, come down! You're catching our daycare on fire! I don't care! I care! <laughs> well, you guys can think of a better solution than this, don't you think? I mean, he's not gonna stop being angry, but don't worry, Sadness isn't gonna stop crying either, so she'll put out the fire with all her tears. I don't think so! I'm so angry, there's gonna be flames everywhere! Lava! <laughs> You're so mean! That's right, keep crying tears! Cry a lot of them, Sadness! We have to put the fire out! Wow! Ew, the whole place is flooding! <laughs> I wanna go home! Um, and the fire isn't out yet! Keep crying, Sadness! Oh, we're gonna be in this disgusting tear water! It's already up to my knees! Hey, Sadness, you put out all the fire! Stop crying! She can't stop crying. She's annoying like that. <laughs> She's gonna flood all of Brookhaven. Sadness, knock it off. Oh, I can't stop crying. I can't help it. One hour later. Sadness, seriously, stop crying. <laughs> My tears are like the ocean. Um, Sadness, you have flooded all of Brookhaven. Oh, sorry. <gasps> this is so annoying. Daisy, I wonder when Mom's getting home. I don't know, Molly. I hope she gets home soon because she's going to make us dinner and I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry too. I'm like starving right now. But I'm still going to jump on the bed. Boing, 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 boing. Molly, you're not supposed to jump onto bed. Mom said. Oh, I know, but Mom's not here right now. Girls, I'm home. Oh, no. Mom's home. Better get off the bed. Mom, I can't wait to see you. Okay, girls. Well, I'm out here in the living room. Mom. Mom, hi. Hi, Molly. Where's Daisy? There's Daisy. Hi, Daisy. Did you girls have a good day? Yeah, Mom, we had a great day. Um, But now we're hungry. Could we please have dinner? Um, Let me go see what's in the refrigerator. Hmm, I wonder if I have enough groceries to make dinner. Mom, you're supposed to have enough groceries. What are you talking about? Come on, Daisy. We better go help Mom. Okay, Molly. Mom, look in the refrigerator. Is there anything in there? Let's see. Oh, yeah, Mom. There's some stuff in there. Yeah, but I don't know if I feel like cooking tonight, Molly. Really? You always feel like cooking, Mom. Yeah, Mom. You love to cook. Yeah, but I had a long day at the Toy Heroes headquarters, so I think we might go out to dinner. What? Out to dinner? Yeah! This is going to be awesome! Woohoo! I'm so excited! Hmm, now let's see. Where should we go to dinner? Um, I have a good idea, Mom. Me too, Mom. Okay, girls. Well, what is it? 
Um, I think we should go to McDonald's. Yeah, Mom, I was seeking the same thing. Happy meal, please. Yeah, Mom, happy meal. Well, okay, I guess we can go for happy meals. Yeah, Daisy, this is amazing. I know, Miley, it's so awesome. Okay, girls, well, let's go get in the car and get going. We're here, we're here, McDonald's! Yeah, this is my favorite McDonald's, girls, because it's right across the street from Walmart. And anytime I need to get groceries, I can just come grab a quick snack and then get groceries. Yeah, I love going to Walmart. They have toys. Yeah, they have lots of toys. Okay, girls, well, let's go inside. Would you guys like a Happy Meal? Yeah, Mom, I'd love a Happy Meal. Yeah, Mom, I'd love one, too. Okay, well, come on inside and let's go order. Come on, girls. You're big girls now. You can go order for yourselves. Oh, boy, that's awesome. Daisy, what are you getting, a Happy Meal? Yeah, Molly, I'm getting a Happy Meal. One Happy Meal, please. Yes, my Happy Meal! Woohoo! It's here! Daisy, did you get your Happy Meal yet? Yeah, I, I was working on it, but I haven't got one yet. I don't understand why won't he give it to me. Give me it, I'm starving! Yes, I got my Happy Meal! Yeah, Molly, I got mine too. Let's go sit down. Get out of my way, Molly! Jeez, Daisy, don't be rude. I'm gonna sit with Mom. Yeah, me too. Wait, can I sit here? Okay, great. Girls, your Happy Meals came. Yeah, Mom, we're so excited. They look delicious. Yeah, Mom, I'm going to eat mine. Yeah, I need mine too. Can I play with my toy, Mom? No, you can't play with your toy. First, you have to eat something. Oh, okay. Mmm, a McDouble. I love these. Yum, 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 yum. Me too, Molly. They're delicious. Yum, 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 yum. What's next? Mom, please, can I have my toy now, please? Okay, Molly, you can play with your toy. Can I play with mine too? I ate my McDouble, Mom. Of course you can, Daisy. I got a crocodile! And a gun! <laughs> what did you get, Daisy? I got a gun! You took my gun, Molly. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I got a crocodile! It's eating my hand! Ah! Ah! Daisy, shoot the crocodile! Okay, Molly, I'll try. Bang, bang! Bang, bang! <laughs> Molly, that's a funny. Okay, girls, that's enough. Sit down and eat the rest of your dinner. Okay, Mom. Molly, you took my spot. Sorry, Daisy. Jeez. Um, Mom, nothing else came with mine. No fries or anything. Hmm, that's strange. Yeah, I don't know why, but uh, they gave me two McDoubles. <laughs> well, I guess just eat till you feel full, Molly. Okay. Yum, 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 yum. Daisy, are you done eating? Yeah, Molly, I'm just eating a second McDouble, too, because they messed up my Happy Meal. What kind of McDonald's is this? I mean, why didn't they give us any fries? I don't believe this. That's okay, girls. Just eat your McDoubles. It's all right. They're really busy, so I think that's why they might have made the mistake. Ah, this is the worst McDonald's ever. Yeah, Molly, it's kind of terrible. <laughs> okay, Mom, we finished our food. Can we go play in the play place? Well, hmm, let me think about it. Okay. Yeah! Woohoo! Let's go, Daisy! Go, go, go! Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun! If I can get out the door. Let me out! Let me out! I can't get out! <laughs> they locked the door. I thought this was going to be like escaping McDonald's. Okay, Daisy, what do you want to play first? I'm going to bounce in here. Boing, 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 boing. Whee! Daisy, no, that's not even as cool as this one. Watch. Ready? You have to stand on it just right. Here we go. Boing, boing. Ah! <laughs> Daisy, you can't find me. Whoa, here we go, Daisy. Here we go. Whoa, Daisy, you were really high. Molly, I'm going higher to the building. Whoa! Okay, Daisy, I'm totally going to watch you now. Okay, jump as high you, as you can, Daisy. Holy cow, Daisy! That is insane! <laughs> You're jumping as high as a skyscraper! Whoa, Molly! Whoa, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Daisy!
Daisy, you're gonna you're gonna throw up your McDouble. You better calm down. <laughs> Molly, that's funny. Okay, I have to go up this big ladder now because I want to go down the slide. Do 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 do. Daisy, you're already up here. I know, Molly. Okay, who should go down the slide first? You should, Daisy. That way I can watch and see if it's scary. Fine, Molly Chicken. Wee! I guess it's not that scary. Wow! <laughs> that was so much fun. Okay, let's go down it again. Okay, Molly, let's do it. Do, 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 do. Okay, Daisy, you go first. Wow, Molly, I fell down it. Okay, I'm gonna try to. Ah! Oh my gosh, that one was kind of scary. Let's kick this ball around. Boing, 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 boing. Oh no, went out into the street. Molly, I don't think we should get it. I'm going to. Molly, be careful. There might be a car in the drive through Yeah, good point, Daisy. Let's go back in. Oh, wow. Look at this tunnel. Oh, my gosh. It's a ball pit. Boing, 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 boing. Whee, Molly. This is so much fun. Best McDonald's day ever. Yeah, except for they gave us two McDoubles instead of French fries. What's up with that? I don't know, Molly. Who cares, though? This is the best part. You know who loves playing in the ball pit? Crocodiles! Da -da 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 Molly, I'll get him! Piong, 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 piong! No, don't shoot the crocodile. He's sweet. Molly, the crocodile is literally eating your hand right now. He's not sweet! Okay, okay. I was gonna name him Cranky the Crocodile. I'm just having so much fun at McDonald's. I don't ever want to go home. You want to know why, Daisy? Why, Molly? Because when we go home, you know what that means? It means we have to go da, 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 to bed. Why do you not want to go to bed, Molly? Well, because if we go to bed, that will mean school tomorrow. No! Hey, girls. Are you having fun? Yeah, Mom. We're having so much fun. Well, you only have a few more minutes, and then we need to go home and get ready for bed. What? No, Mom. No, no, no. Yes, Molly, we have to do our night routine. But, Mom, <laughs> I don't want to. I want to stay in McDonald's Playland forever. Molly, really? You're too big to have a temper tantrum. Yeah, Molly, you're too big to have a temper tantrum. No, I'm not. I don't want to. <laughs> I'm so sad right now. Molly, if you can't behave, we will not come back to McDonald's, and you won't be able to play in Playland if you can't be a good girl. What? Wait, if I have a temper tantrum, I can't ever come back? Well, you can't come back for a while. Okay, okay, okay. I I'll be good, I'll be good. That's better, Molly. Now enjoy your um five minutes that you have left. Have fun playing. Uh, okay, come on, Daisy. We have to try to cram in a bunch of fun stuff in the last five minutes. What are you going to do, Daisy? 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 I'm over here, Molly. I'm going to go up the slide backwards. Whee! <laughs> oh, my gosh. That looked like so much fun. Girls, just be careful, okay? We will, Mom. Whoa, 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 whoa! Molly, I said to be careful. I'm trying, Mom, but it's, it's, it's scary! Ouch, I fell! It kind of hurt! Oh, Molly, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, Mom, I think. Oh, let me look. Oh, I think you're okay. Yeah, Molly, you're okay. Don't try to do tricks like me. You're, you're not as good at it as me. Be quiet, Daisy, you're not very nice! Girls, I don't want either one of you going to up the slide like that. It's dangerous. Go find something else to do for your last four minutes. Ah, oh, okay, Mom, fine. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna climb this huge ladder. Bum, ba, da, dum, bum, 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 bum. Molly! <laughs> wee, wee! Molly, I see you. I see you. Here I come, Molly. Boing, 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 boing! Boing, wee! Daisy. You are the craziest sister ever. Whatever, Molly. Wow! <laughs> if you go down this way just like I did, Daisy, you could totally fall into the ball pit. Daisy? Are you going to try it? <laughs> Molly, that was so much fun! Whee! 
Okay, girls, it's time to go home. Mom, for real, do we have to? I'm gonna hide from mom. She can't see me. Come here, Daisy. She's behind this huge, she's be I'm behind this huge um hamburger and she won't even see me. Molly, it's a breakfast sandwich. Whatever, Daisy, whatever. Girls, where are you? Girls, hmm, where are they? <gasps> Girls, I see you. Ah, ah. Molly, that was a terrible hiding spot. <laughs> Come on, girls. You've gotten to eat McDonald's and you played at Playland. It's time to go home and start your night routine so you can be ready for school. But mom, look, there's some fans. Oh, well, we better say hi to them. Hi. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> hi, everybody. We have to go home now, but it was nice to see you. Okay, girls, follow me. Hey, two-year-old fans, it's me, Molly, and I'm back home in my awesome bedroom. What do you guys think of it? I love it. Anyway, if you liked this McDonald's outing with me and my sister Daisy and my mom, let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel. We have two of them, the Toy Heroes games and the Toy Heroes. Both of them are super fun. So don't forget to subscribe, okay? And hit the little notification bell so you can be the first to see when we put out new videos. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! OMG, Daisy, I can't believe I ate all that ice cream. I know, right, Molly? You're such a pig. You asked for like five scoops. I don't even know where you put that all in your stomach. <laughs> I know, I feel like I'm going to explode. Well, it's about balance. Uh, first I eat the ice cream, then I work out on my bike, so I don't feel so bad. Come on, let's go climb that mountain over there. Molly, I don't know if that's such a good idea. I'm not that great at riding up mountains yet, and I don't have a mountain bike. Our bikes are just fine, come on. Molly, they don't even let the horses go up that mountain. Well, bicycles are better than horses. They can climb mountains. I don't think so, Molly. I really don't. This is a bad idea. Oh, you're such a chicken. Come on. Maybe I shouldn't have eaten so much ice cream. This is a giant hill. Oh, boy, Molly. You always think of the worst ideas. Actually, correction. I think of the best ideas, the most fun ideas. You think of the boring ideas. Whoa, we're up so high I see snow. How's our bicycle supposed to go through this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh, the snow is really deep and there's ice under the snow, so I'm sliding all over. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Molly, I'm going back down. Molly, don't go over that edge. Whoa! Oh my gosh, I can't stop going. Huh, Daisy, I'm going to fall over the edge. Molly, be careful. Oh my gosh, I, I, my brakes don't work, Daisy. It's too much ice. Whoa! Molly? Molly? Ah, ah. Oh my god. Molly, did you hit your head? Molly, say something. Uh, uh. Oh my gosh, I better call 911. 911, what's your emergency? My sister, she rode up this giant mountain in Brookhaven and she fell off a bike because it was really snowy and icy. Oh wow, no one should go up that mountain with a bicycle. That's what I told her, but she didn't listen. I think she might have hit her head, because all cause she could say is, ah, send a helicopter right away. We'll be there shortly. Thank you. You must be the sister Daisy. I am. Can you tell me, is my sister going to be okay? Well, it's hard to tell. She got a very, very, very bad head injury. Is it like a concussion? Yes, it's like a concussion, only much, much worse. Well, when she first fell, she could at least say, ah, but now she's not talking at all. That's because your sister's in a coma. What? A coma? Molly! <laughs> I mean, you are an annoying sister, but still, you are my sister, my sister. I'm so sorry, Daisy. But can't you do anything? All we can do is hope that she wakes up. How long do people normally stay in comas? Well, with this type of head injury, it could be a day or it could be a hundred years. Or never. <laughs> this is horrible. I'll come back every day, Molly. I'll come back and talk to you and, and hopefully you'll wake up. 
Molly? Molly? Molly! Good morning, Dr. Smith. I is my sister awake yet? I fear she isn't, Daisy, but it's always good to go and talk to her. She, she certainly can probably hear you. She just can't wake up yet. But we'll hope for the best. Yeah, we'll hope for the best. Okay, I better go see my sister now. Molly, it's me, Daisy. I brought you these beautiful flowers. Uh, it's time to wake up. Come on, can't you smell them? They smell wonderful. I, I, I really need you to wake up, Molly. Please, please wake up. Oh, maybe I'll try again tomorrow. Good morning, Dr. Smith. I'm here to see my sister. Any change? I'm sorry, Daisy, but no. She's still in a coma. You brought me a donut, though. How nice! No, 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 Dr. Smith. This is for Molly. She loves donuts. Oh, well, she can't eat the donut, so you should give it to me. I can. I don't think so, Dr. Smith. It's for my sister. Sheesh, you're a doctor. You can afford a whole dozen donuts. Okay, I'm going in to see Molly now. Don't be thinking about eating this donut, either. Molly, it's me, Daisy. I brought your favorite treat, a donut. Smell it, Molly. Smell it and wake up. Molly? Molly? Oh, it's no use. She just, she's not going to wake up. <laughs> well, I guess I just have to eat this donut myself then. See, Molly, I'm eating your donut. You better wake up. I'm going to eat your donut. Oh, no. If that didn't wake her up, nothing ever will. <laughs> Goodbye, Molly. Forever. <laughs> oh, Daisy, she is the most beautiful baby in the world, and she's ours. I know. She is so beautiful, right, Adam? Hi, Savannah. <coughs> oh, Savannah, don't cry. It's okay. Oh, good girl. You're so sweet. Well, dear, should we continue our walk? The baby seems to love the fresh air. Oh, Daisy, what's wrong? I, I, I just feel sad because we're, we're right in front of Bookhaven Hospital. This is where my sister's been in a coma for over 10 years. Oh, honey, I know that hurts you so badly. She would love Savannah. She would be the best aunt. I mean, she would probably teach her to jump on the couch and be totally naughty and stuff, but still, she would love her. I, I think I'm ready to go in and see her. Well, honey, it's been 10 years. Are are you sure? I mean, there's been no change. The hospital said they'd call you if there was. I have to do this for Savannah. Okay, honey. Savannah and I go will go with you then for support. Thanks. You're the best family ever. Hi, Dr. Smith. Daisy, is that you? You look so different. I know. I'm all grown up now. Have you met my husband and my daughter? No, you haven't been here in 10 years. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, honey, Camille, Dr. Smith wants to meet you and the baby. Oh, my goodness. Look at her, Daisy. She's so beautiful. Her name's Savannah. My husband's name is Adam. Well, I'm glad to meet you. Any change with my sister? No, just like we tell you on your monthly reports, your sister is still in a coma. Oh my goodness. Well, I want to go say hi to her. It has been 10 years. That's a great idea, Daisy. Go right in. Hi, Molly. It's me, Daisy, your sister. And I'm here with my husband, Adam, and your niece, Savannah. I think that's a boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Oh, they're all your boy. We, we miss you. I mean, well, I miss you. They don't really know you, but they would love you if they got to know you. Please, Molly, wake up. Please, I need you to be an aunt to Savannah. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, my God, she's making noise. Did you hear that, Adam? I did. How strange. 
Maybe she's going to wake up. I I'll go get the doctor. Molly, come to the light. I mean, come back to me, your oh, sister. I, I, I had a baby. Her name is Savannah. Your aunt, wake up. Ah, what? 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 She is waking up. Look, it's a miracle. What? What happened? I, I, I remember riding my bike and then boom, and that was it. Oh, my gosh. It's a medical miracle. She's woken up. How long was I out for? Um, Molly? Where's your pigtails, Daisy? You look weird. Um, Molly, whose baby is that? <coughs> you better find its mom. It's crying. Molly, I am this baby's mom. Huh? What? <laughs> Very good one, Daisy. Well, she seems to remember everyone. This is good. Okay, I think it's time to break the news to her. Break what news? Did I break my leg? Oh my gosh. That was crazy though when I went off the side of the mountain on the bike, right Daisy? Molly, you've been in a coma for 10 years. What? <laughs> You're joking, right? Seriously though, if it's been like a few days, I am totally going to det get detention for not doing my homework. Or do I get out of it because I've been in a coma? Molly, I'm not kidding. You've been in a coma for 10 years. Look at my face, Molly. Look how much older I look. What? Wh who is that guy? He's my husband, Adam. And this is your niece, my baby, Savannah. It's okay, Molly. Just try to take deep breaths. Take deep breaths? I'm freaking out! I've been in a coma for 10 years? Why didn't somebody wake me up? I mean, detention's not that bad. Um, we couldn't wake you up, Molly. Your brain wouldn't let us. It had an injury, and it took 10 years to heal it. I would suggest not going up and riding your bike down Brookhaven Mountain again. Yeah, Molly, I told you that was a bad idea. Holy guacamole, can I get out of bed? I don't want to lay here anymore. Ugh. Um, excuse you? Sorry, when you've been laying down for 10 years, things get a little backed up. Ew, Molly, gross. I can't believe I've been in a coma for 10 years. I've missed so much. Yeah, you're probably going to have to go back to high school and start over again, though. Seriously? I have to start over and I'm a grown-up? Oh, that just figures. Can I hold my niece? Of course you can. Oh my gosh, I have a niece. She looks just like you, Daisy. Oh, thanks, Molly. I think she got my eyes. She totally did. Hi, Savannah. I'm your Aunt Molly. Hi, Molly. Oh my gosh, she said her first word and it was Molly. Oh. Seems like it was fate you were supposed to wake up on this day, Molly. I'm so glad to have my sister back. I just can't believe it. I'm going to go down in the medical journals. I'm going to be famous. Aw, Savannah, we're going to have so many adventures, including riding our bikes down the mountain. Molly! Just kidding. <laughs>
I always text. Well, not always, but... What? People called... What? People picked phone call? What? Okay, who's gonna actually call me right now? I'm a little afraid to know. Ah! The phone blew up! <laughs> Holy guacamole! Um, okay, I wanna go around this maze now and see. Oh, there's nothing here. Oh, you tricked me! Aren't you just so funny? Uh, but, guys, now I can't get out. Okay, there we go. I was lost for a minute. Daisy never came back. Daisy's gone forever. Alright, let's pick a phone call. If I'm being honest, sometimes I call my bestie, but I think texting is still pretty awesome. Yeah, but phone calls are nice, so... Yeah, true. No way out. All right, it's an Abby, guys. Oh, this is going to be fun. Boing, 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 wee. All right, that Abby was super simple. Is there more to it? Uh, no, Molly. We just got to pick a slide. Best type of bacon. Crispy or chewy? Ugh, chewy bacon. Gross. Crispy. Especially if it's on a cheeseburger. Oh, yeah, I won. Yeah, that's what I picked, too. No, you didn't. You just copied me, Daisy. Copycat, copycat. Molly, quit being annoying! It's hard for you, though, I know, because you're my sister, and it's sort of your job. Yeah, totally. Our first choice equals your vote. Oh, look, it's kind of like an obby you have to go through for this pick a slide. All right, which would be better? Raining Skittles or raining marshmallows? I think raining Skittles. A Skittles taste the rainbow? Yeah, exactly. Sounds delicious. Although, if you're at a campfire... Um, raining marshmallows would be great because then you could make s'mores. All right, guys, let's go see what's next. Boink. Oh, uh, sorry, there was a pause in what I was saying because I was literally thinking about s'mores and it was making me really hungry. <laughs> all right, which would be worse? Wearing wet jeans all day or wearing a wet sweater? I pick wet sweater. How about you, Daisy? Totally, but I think they would both be gross. Yep, I totally won. Wearing a wet sweater. Ugh. Whee! What's gonna be next? What's gonna be next? What's gonna be next? Which weather is better? Oh, you die if you touch that stuff. Daisy, don't touch the poo-poo. Did you touch the poo-poo? No, Molly, I didn't. Which weather is better, hot or cold? Um, well, pool parties happen when it's hot. Agreed, Molly. Who knew we would give so many the same answers? Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. Everyone voted for cold. Where am I? Ah! I'm in here with Silent Head, guys. And there's no escape. Ooh. Nope. 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 <laughs> it's kind of cool when you die because you get to see all the different, like, characters and what they came up with. Okay, fine. We'll pick cold. What happens if I pick hot twice? You die twice. Molly, what are you doing? I want to see if Siren Head kills me again or if it's something else. Congratulations. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, that was horrible. What happened, Molly? Um, oh, and then I died here too. Um, when I went in there, it was like, congratulations. And it had this super smiley face with a, with a slide. And then, um, when I go try to run through it, the floor collapsed and I died. Oh, man, that's harsh. Totally. Yeah, there's like so much poo-poo in here. What's this all about? Oh, which is better? Uh, breathe underwater or fly through the air. Um, hmm, hmm. I'm going to say fly through the air because if you breathe underwater, it doesn't matter. Something could still eat you like a shark or a whale. Oh, she has a point, guys. She has a really good point there. Oh, you were right. Fly through the air did do better, Daisy. Good job. All right, saying to go this way, but I feel like, is this a trap? I don't know. Oh, wait, no. Hot dog or cheeseburger? Um, I pick cheeseburger any day of the week. Yeah, once a summer, though, I do like to eat a hot dog, but... Normally, I pick cheese. I wonder if there's an end to this game. This is the game that does it in. Oh, man. We died in the poo-poo puddles. Ew, gross. I don't even know what this is, but it looks super stinky. Oh, my gosh. What's going to be next? I'm so excited. I don't even see it. Oh, wait. I think it's in here. Whee! It's like a giant maze. Which would you rather be, really strong or really fast? 
I gotta go for really fast. Well, just because you picked that, I want to pick something different. Buddy! Um, and I shouldn't have done that because, uh-oh, something's gonna kill me. Caution, radiation area? Why? What's gonna happen right now? Um, I'm running through my, from my life, guys. Wait, what? What? Okay, that was weird. Nothing really happened. Whoa! It was kind of creepy, but nothing really actually happened. All right, well, I guess I shouldn't have picked that answer. I think I'm gonna pick the same thing as Daisy every single time. That's just lame. Wait, which way did I go? Okay, this way. And then down. Whee! This is the weirdest house ever. Okay, so I guess the popular answer was to be really fast. Then you could go to school if you were late. <laughs> Thanks for waiting for me, Daisy. No problem, Molly. It's the least I could do since you died. Whoa! Okay, there, there's lava here, Daisy. We gotta be careful. Daisy, did you make it? Oh, good. I thought Daisy died. Which would you rather be, the youngest sibling or the oldest? Well, I am the oldest, but... And I'm the youngest, so let's each pick and see what happens. Woo! Um, I just fell outside the game. So, I'm thinking the youngest is what everybody picked. I don't know. Maybe that was just a glitch in the game. Or maybe I just died. Ooh. And I did Like, usually you go inside that elevator if you die. Daisy, are you down there? Daisy? Yeah, it was youngest. We're the coolest, saw we? You're not really the coolest, Daisy. We are, Molly. The youngest siblings always are. Um, something tells me there's gonna be a giant, like, rock that comes out of the sky here. Oh, no. Actually, I was wrong. The Abbey part makes it kind of interesting, too, because it's like you're just going through this giant Abbey and trying to trying to survive. When storing cups in a cupboard, which way is correct? Hmm. Hmm. Molly, just pick facing up. Well, yeah, but then it collects dust, and bugs can get in there and die, and then you'd be eating a fly. See? Exactly. Wait, I picked facing up. What? It killed me, but I picked facing up. That's not fair! I want a do-over on that one. Wait, where do we go now? Okay, that's the end of the slide. Maybe I didn't actually die there. I don't know. Daisy, you're kind of glitching. Well, it's not my fault. It's the game, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The best superhero? Um, I'm picking Iron Man. Oh my god, I died again? Are you serious? Ah! Okay, this is drawn out. Ah! <laughs> Everybody picked Iron Man. What are you talking about? All right, there goes Daisy again. She obviously picked the Flash because she's moving so quickly. <laughs> and boink. All right, let's see. Daisy, you are totally glitching right now. Well, I don't know. It's got to be this game or something. Wait for me, Daisy! Oh! Okay, now we fell through the game here, too. I don't know what the right answer is. Now it's saying Spider-Man. What? Okay, this is ridiculous. Which one is it? I think we just stuck you forever. What? No, I think we actually got the right one that time. He just wanted to kill us for fun. Holy like guacamole. This game is cray-cray. Oh, I think we have to jump through this little window. That's weird. What do you call this sport? Sacco? A football. Um, well, if you live in America, you call it soccer. Okay, um, apparently a lot of people who don't live in America are actually playing this game. <gasps> it's Christmas! Wait, oh no, it's the Grinch. Going back in. I, I don't, no, you can't kill me. I'm over here. Get away from me, Grinch. Oh yeah, he killed me through the wall. <laughs> I don't know how that's possible, but he did it. Um, Molly, we were wrong. It's, I guess, football. All right, fine, we'll call it football. I mean, actually, calling it football kind of does make sense because you play soccer with your feet. So, yeah, no, we just call it soccer. I, I don't know why. All right, here we go. We got the right one. I don't know how far we're going to make it in this game, guys. It feels like it's just going to go on forever. What? Which would you rather have? An extra finger or an extra toe? Um... Well, I don't know. I guess an extra finger because then I could play extra good at Roblox because I'd have another finger. <laughs> yes! Oh, I picked right! 
Amazing. Exit here. It says this is the exit. Can you test it out? Mm, is there any other way I can go? Daisy must have picked the wrong one. Do you guys think this is the actual exit of the game? Slam the like button if you do. Oh, I'm going to test it out, guys. Here we go. Whee! Um, yeah, it's an exit into the sewer. Or maybe this is like a swimming pool. I want to jump in here. This is kind of nice. Wait, is this the sewer? Because if it is, I'm swimming around in it right now. <laughs> Alright, now there's three to answer. Okay. Best type of ice for your drinks. <laughs> a nugget. Daisy didn't make it to this part, guys. She must have died. <gasps> See ya, Daisy! I'm picking a cube. <laughs> yeah! Maybe you guys don't have these other fancy things. That's why. Alright, now we gotta swim to this next part. Best place to swim. The lake, the ocean, or a bathtub. Oh, the ocean is amazing. As long as a shark doesn't eat you, you'll be all good. Yeah, I'm doing so much better without my sister here. We're in this, like, basement um, pool. It's kind of cool. Best fictional robot. Optimus Prime, R2-D2, or Freddy Fazbear. I feel like you guys are going to pick Freddy, but I'm picking old school R2-D2. And I died. Really? You guys don't like R2-D2? What kind of people are you anyway? Um, guys, uh, there's definitely zombies and ghosts in here. I don't like how this is looking. I'm, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> I jumped off the edge. I'm like, no, no, no. Those ghosts aren't getting me. All right, guys, let's play one more round because I just love you guys. Maybe two more rounds. Okay, two. You guys talked me into it. I'm playing two more rounds. I don't know where Daisy is. Daisy, are you still there? Hello? Daisy. Daisy, are you there? I'm right here, Molly. <laughs> Oh my gosh, where you been? Well, I did glitch a little bit. Yeah, Ooh. tell me about it. Oh yeah, I knew we were going to pick Freddy Fazbear. Oh, I still wanted to pick R2-D2 though. Alright, where do we go now? Ooh, I think right through here maybe? Or, no. Maybe down the stairs. I love these swimming pools. I wish I seen the basement in my house. Yeah, right? Wouldn't that be the coolest thing ever? Most useless key. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, Daisy. I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna cheat and follow you on this one. I'm gonna pick pause and break. Um. Nope. Wrong. I should have copied Daisy. Yeah. I don't know what he's talking about. Oh look! It's evil. Ah! He's got a knife. Okay, maybe if I go into his house, he can't catch me. Wrong. Oh. <laughs> Wrong. Oh. Wrong. Oh. Alright, let's try this again, peeps. Um, F12? What's this thing do? I don't even know what this button does. I'm picking it. Oh, yes! I win! I'm ahead of Daisy again. Goodbye, Daisy. You died again. Okay, I think I have to actually go through the stairs here, guys. This is kind of cool. Swim through the stairs. Best ice cream? Well, my favorite's strawberry, but I feel like you guys are going to pick chocolate. I really do feel like you guys are going to pick chocolate. Yes? Yeah, I knew it! Strawberry was the least likely. I love... You guys are crazy. Strawberry is amazing. Why are you guys picking those other ones? <laughs> oh, look, a slide. It's like a water slide. Yes, please. Whee! Oh, now we're going into a hot tub. Worst thing to step on while barefoot. A beehive. Oh, my God, guys. That would be the worst thing ever. Or a Lego or a cactus would be stinky. Wait, you guys didn't pick beehive? Guys, the bees are going to sting you over and over again. Oh, my God, guys. Look, at it's me. I've, I, a shorter version of me, but why are you chasing me? Ah! My clone just killed me. I think that's the perfect way to end this video, guys. It's me, Molly. Or is it? <laughs>
Hey, what are you doing right now? You want to play some soccer or something? No! I'd love to. Let me go ask my mom, okay? Hold on. Mom! 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 Yes, Molly, I'm over here doing a mountain of chores. Uh -oh. Would you like to help? <laughs> Very funny, Mom. Hey, um, since it's summer break, Brookie wants to come over and hang out and play soccer. Is that okay? Um, well, I don't know. Your room was really messy. Did you clean it? Um, yeah, it's clean-ish. Sort of. I mean, pretty clean. Yeah, it's clean. Okay, Molly. Well, as long as your room is clean. Sure, Brookie can come over. Wow. Hey, Brookie, you still there? Yeah, Molly, what's going on? My mom said you could come over. Come on over in like five minutes, okay? Sure, Molly, I'll bring my soccer ball. See you then. Brookie Cookie! Brookster! Brookie dookie 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 doo doo doo. <laughs> Molly, you have so many crazy nicknames for me. <laughs> yeah, but my favorite is Brookie Cookie because the word, well, Brookie and Cookie are in it. Oh, you brought the good soccer ball. Of course I did, Molly. Now let's see who can kick it the farthest. Me! It's gonna be me! I don't know, Molly, I've been practicing. Hey, don't send it all the way down into town. Oh, now I have to run down this huge hill. Told you I'd kick it the farthest. <laughs> okay, my turn. Uh, Brookie, you didn't kick it. You missed it and it went behind you. Ow. Okay, yeah, but I've been practicing. Oh, man. It's okay. Just just try again, Brookie. You got this. You got this. Brookie Cookie! Brookie Nader! Brookster! Brookie de doo dee doo dee doo dee doo doo. Wow, you have been practicing, Brookie. That's amazing. Thanks, Molly. I really want to try out for the soccer team this fall at school. I think you could make it. I definitely do. Wow. <gasps> Look at this room. Molly didn't clean her room at all. Ew, what's that smell? Is that dirty laundry? Ew, pew. And there's dirt everywhere and garbage and... What's that? Pizza from last week? Yeah. Ugh, Molly! So I told Luke, if he really likes Sarah, then don't bother asking me to the dance. <gasps> yeah, right? She's such a bully. Molly! Uh-oh! Uh-oh. Molly, your mom looks and sounds super mad. I don't know why. What got into her? Molly, did you tell me you cleaned your room? Oh, um, about that. Ooh. Molly Acker, you send Brookie Cookie home right now and come inside and clean up this disaster of a room. You're lucky I'm not grounding you for the rest of summer for lying to me. Oh, man, Brookie. We were just starting to really have fun. I know, Molly. I'm so sorry, but it sounds like your mom's really mad. I might see you next week after I clean it. Seriously. It's that messy. It's gonna take days and days to clean it. Well, Molly, good luck. I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye. Molly, you and I are gonna have a problem with each other if the whole summer vacation goes like this. Your room is a disaster. Rats are gonna start coming in there. Cockroaches, you have pizza from last week. What's going on? I just got home from the park. Well, your room is very messy, both of you. Ooh. Don't blame me, Molly's the slob. Really, Daisy, I'm the slob? What about those science experiments that went wrong that smell like a bean burrito fart? <coughs> okay, yeah, well, there's that. Both of you girls go to your room and don't come back out until it's clean. Fine, this totally ruined my hangout with Brookie. Worst Ow. day ever. Uh-oh. Um, my room is pretty messy. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't think it's that bad. Yeah. Molly, the smell that's coming from your laundry is about to make me pass out. Now, I figure we should probably just shovel it out the window. Ugh, this is going to take all day. Ah. Nobody knows how sad I am. Nobody even cares. Hey, D Daisy, do you remember that door being there? No, we don't even have a closet in this room. Did Dad make a closet while we were gone? I don't remember that, and I was just here this morning. How weird. <gasps> Daisy, do you think we should look inside? 
I don't know, Molly. Look at how that light is coming out from below the door. That's really weird. Yeah, but maybe it's just a place to put our clothes. I'm sure it'll be fine. Come on, let's step inside. Um, uh, I feel like this might be a bad idea. Daisy, it's a door in our bedroom. I'm sure that it's nothing. Come on. Ah! Daisy, what is this place? I don't know. It looks like a trash chute. Uh -huh. Convenient my dad put a trash chute in our bedroom. That way it makes cleaning out all my garbage super easy. Wow! What? It was a trash chute. Look, we're just in the basement with a bunch of smelly garbage. Yeah, I thought that door was going to go somewhere cool, like a, like an alternate universe. But turns out we're just back in our house. Now we've got to go clean our rooms. Yeah, so annoying. Ooh. Daisy, I smell like garbage. Me too, Molly. Ew, it smells gross. Mom, do you have any trash bags? What? Trash bags? For what? Um, because we're cleaning that huge mess out of our room that you told us to. What? Clean a mess? No. You girls don't have to do that. Do you want a cupcake? Um, yeah. Are you feeling okay, Mom? I feel great. <laughs> How about I make you all your favorite foods? Um, okay, but you don't want us to clean our room? You were really mad about that. Uh -oh. No way. Cleaning your room is boring. I want to have lots of fun. Hey. Starting with your most delicious favorite snacks. I don't know what happened to my mom, but all of a sudden she turned from Karen into the fun mom. Wow. I'm all about this. All about it. Okay, mom, I'll have some cupcakes, some pizza, a candy bar. You know, the list is pretty long. No problem, sweetie. I'll make you anything you ever want. Mm. This donut's delicious. And when I'm done stuffing that in my face, I got some pizza and a muffin. Mm. This is delicious. Wow, Molly, if we eat any more, we're either going to explode or have the worst stomach ache ever. <laughs> It'll be worth it. So worth it. More donuts, more pizza, more muffins. Here I am with one of your favorite treats, ice cream. Seriously? Where'd you get that ice cream cart from, Mom? Oh, I just bought it because I thought you girls would love it. Oh, uh, Mom, you've turned into the best mom ever. Wait, do we have to do any chores today? Like vacuum or... <laughs> no, that's boring. I want us to have fun all the time here. Um, okay. Well, this sounds great to me. Daisy, this is the episode I was telling you about. Where the guy on Survivor gets eaten by a, by a crocodile. Ugh, I ate too many sweets. I feel terrible. Nah, not me. I still got room for more pizza. You're gonna buff, Molly. Oh, look at the time. 8.30. We need to go up to bed. Ugh, yeah. I really wanted to see the part where the crocodile comes, though. Hi, girls. How's TV? Are you having fun? Yeah, totally. Yay, except for we didn't see the part about the crocodile, and it's time for us to go to bed. Bedtime? Don't be ridiculous. There's no such t thing as bedtime here. Wait, what? Sure, you can stay up as late as you want and eat more snacks. Always more snacks. Sounds good to me. Not me. I got a stomachache. Ow. Uh, ugh, I can't take one more bite. My pants are going to explode. <laughs> or, well, Whoops. my stomach might explode instead. Ew, Molly. Come on, Molly. Let's go to bed. My stomach really hurts. Yeah, me too. Come on. Super late. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I'm exhausted. And also, I think I might need to have a moth bucket. Ugh, me too. Ugh, why did I eat all that? That was a bad idea. Can't believe my mom let me do that. Ugh, my stomach is so upset. I need some medicine. Pepto Bismol, here I come. Ugh. Oh, wow. It's. 
really dark down here. My mom always leaves the light on. She knows I'm afraid of the dark. What's that chop, chop, chopping sound? Mom, are you still up? Yes, honey. I'm making more sweet treats for you and your sister. Um, uh, actually, I was thinking that I needed some Pepto-Bismol. My stomach's really hurting. No more sweet treats. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. and stay up late. You don't have to do any chores and don't even worry about ever going to school again. We can all be together. Always! I mean, as long as you want to be like me. <laughs> and I'm so fun, aren't I? This is all just a bad dream. It's because I ate too many weird things before bed. Yeah, just go back to sleep, Molly. When you wake up, everything will be just fine. I'm sure of it. Ah! <laughs> Molly, what are you doing? I went downstairs to get some medicine, and, 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 and Mom was really, really, really looking different. Daisy, you didn't even put your pajamas on. I know. My stomach hurt too bad. I just got into bed just like this. What do you mean, Mom was really different? I mean, she, 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 she had the weird face and her eyes were like really creepy. And, uh, Molly, you're being dramatic because your stomach hurts. Go to bed. Fine. Rude. I don't even know if I'm going to be asleep. That creepy face. It's all I can think about. <laughs> No, no, I don't want to be like you, other mother. You're creepy, no. Molly, wake up, it's morning. Huh, what? What, where's creepy mother? What, what are you talking about, Molly? You were just being dramatic. Ugh, let's grab some breakfast, something healthy. Yeah, you're probably right. It was probably just my imagination after I ate all that junk food. So now do you want to have something healthy? Um, is a candy bar for breakfast considered healthy? What? No, Molly! You could have an apple or a piece of fruit or some eggs and toast. Yeah, for once in my life, I probably will eat something healthy. Yesterday was crazy! Made my stomach kind of really hurt. Come on, let's go eat some apples and stuff for breakfast. Good morning, Mom! Good morning, girls. I made you pancakes with donuts on top. Uh, we were thinking about something healthy. No more sweet treats, Mom. It's too much on our stomachs. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Sweet treats are the best. <coughs> ah, it wasn't all a dream. Ah! What is going on right now, Molly? My guess is when we went through that door, it was a portal to another world. <coughs> With another mother. A different mother? Other mother? Creepy mother! <laughs> I'm so much fun. Other mother loves you and wants you to be just like me. Um, I'm thinking no. How do we get back to reality where there's chores and, you know, not creepy faces and stuff? There is no way back. You're with me now. And I love you. Now let me go get some needle and thread. I want to make your face just like mine. Um, I'm thinking no. Molly, run! Oh my god. Oh my god, I just tripped over the ice cream stand that other mother got. I mean, I guess that'd be an okay way to like fall as if you were falling in a vat of ice cream. Molly, quit thinking about crazy food things. Just, just run. I am running as fast as I can after eating all those treats yesterday. Holy guacamole! Daisy, everything looks the same! How do we know how to get back? Daisy, look, what's that? It looks like a portal, Molly! Maybe a doorway back to, back to where we came from! Where are you two going? We're family now. Ah! Daisy, I don't know where that portal goes, but it can't be as bad as here with other mother! Go for it, Daisy! Go! Back at our bed 
Thank you. Um, that door is evil. Do not ever go in there. Other Mother is creepy. Let's see. Let's see, though, if we're back in our own reality. Mom? Mom? Do you have an axe and a, and a creepy face? Ooh. What are you girls doing down here? So far, she seems like our real mom. Of course I'm your real mom. You've been up in your bedroom for five minutes, and I guarantee that room is not clean yet. Mom! I'm so happy to see you! What? Why? What? What's going on? We just love you, Mom. Thanks for making us do all these chores and clean our room and, and, and be sort of like crazy about us, you know, doing our schoolwork and we love you. Aww. Are you girls trying to get out of cleaning your room? Not gonna happen. Go clean it. Mom, anything you want, we'll do it. Marty, look, the puddle dog, it's gone. Holy guacamole. You know what I say? Goodbye and good riddance. Yeah, I've never been so happy to clean my messy room. Well, you have fun with that. I'm just going to eat this donut from, you know, other mother. <gasps> Molly, you brought back something from the other world? Now she's always going to have a way to get through to us. Don't eat that donut! Um, too late. <laughs> Violet, and this is my story. My sister and I are identical twins. Well, identical sort of. I mean, I have a different fashion sense than she does. I think my fashion sense is amazing. But my sister Scarlett thinks she is the best person in the whole world. She thinks she's the prettiest, the smartest, and the most popular. Violet, what are you doing in my room? Get out. Um, Scarlett, I hate to break this news to you, but it's our room. We share it. Duh, that's why we have the bunk beds. Ugh, don't remind me. I have to share my bedroom with my lame sister. A popular, beautiful, successful, smart girl like me shouldn't be with such a lame sister like you all the time. See what I mean? My sister is so full of herself. But she's about to find out that not everything gets to go her way. <laughs> Sometimes they go Violet's way. What are you even talking about, Violet? Get out. I need to call my boyfriend. Fine, Scarlet, whatever, but this is my room too. There's Jareth. He's so, so cute. Too bad he's my sister's boyfriend. <sighs> She's so lucky. Hi, Jareth. Um, are we gonna sit together today at lunch? Of course, babe. Uh, who else would I sit with? You're the most popular, most beautiful, smartest girl in school. Of course you should be with me. I'm the most popular football player in the school. <laughs> You're right. We're just made for each other. <laughs> okay, class, who can tell me what was Shakespeare's first play? And as a bonus question, when was it written? Oh, I know, I know, pick me, Violet, pick me. Scarlet, she always picks her. She's probably just looking it up on her phone. Shakespeare's first play was King Henry and it was written between 1589 and 1591. Wow. Scarlet, I'm very impressed. I'm going to give you a free ticket for ice cream at lunch today as a reward. Ugh, my sister is so annoying. I knew the answer to that because I studied, not because I cheated with Google. What? Violet, what are you talking about? Would you like to share your thoughts with the class? Yes, I would. My sister is super annoying. She didn't even know the answer to that. Oh, that's not very nice to say, Violet. Perhaps you would like to sit in detention today to think about how to be nicer to your sister. But, but, Mrs. Smith, it's true. My sister is super, well, annoying and she cheats and, and it, she's not the only one that's smart, you know. Uh, Violet, that's an hour detention after school. Please take a seat. Oh, I am so sick of my twin sister. 
class is dismissed, except for you, Violet. You know you have an hour detention. See you later, loser! Yeah, <laughs> have fun in detention. Come on, Scarlet, we can go hang out at the ice cream shop. Of course, Jareth, I'd love to. I am so tired of my sister. I'm really going to make her pay. She has to. I will have my revenge. So it was right about then that I went a little bonkers, a little crazy. Uh, to put it mildly, I was nuts. But you would be too if you had a twin sister that made you feel horrible about yourself. I decided to go to the local hardware store in Brookhaven and I bought some bars and nails and, and a bunch of other fun stuff to capture my sister and take over her life. But don't worry, like, I'm gonna give her food and water and stuff. I just, I'm gonna trap her in there and then I'm gonna have a really good life. <laughs> As my sister, Scarlet. <laughs> no one's even gonna know the difference. I started creating my plans in the bathroom. That way no one would be suspicious of what I was doing. Honey, are you okay in there? Don't forget, your sister Scarlet has to get ready and it takes her a really um, long time to make her hair perfect. Um, well my hair might need to look perfect too, Mom. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it does, honey, but you know, Scarlet always gets an hour in the bathroom. Ugh. She always gets her way, <laughs> but not for long, not for long at all. Finally, the day arrived when I was going to trap my sister and then take over her life. But how exactly was I going to get Scarlet into the prison? Is this a prank, Violet? You told me that you got a new Gucci bag and, and you got it for free, but you didn't want it because you're such a dork and you'd never look good with it anyway. So present the Gucci bag. Oh, it's right down here, sister. Just, just follow me. Whoa, it's dark down here. What, what, what is this place? Oh, nothing. Let me just turn on the light so you can see. What? Why am I in this prison cell? Violet, what's going on? This prank is not funny. Welcome to your new life, Scarlet. You've imprisoned me with your horrible bullying for so many years. Now it's your turn to see what it feels like. Um, I only have one thing to say. Mom! Uh, she can't hear you, Scarlet, because I made the walls soundproof. <laughs> uh, sister, you have gone totally bonkers. So what if I have? <laughs> Seriously, Violet, you're starting to scare me. Let me out of here. Not a chance. I'm going to take over your life. I'm going to be popular. I'm going to have a boyfriend. Everyone will think I'm amazing. Have a nice life, Scarlet. Oh, hi, Violet. Are you feeling okay? Uh, not really. I'm feeling a little bit like... <sighs> Bonkers! What? Maybe you should go lay down, honey. Uh, you seem a, a little strange. Okay, I'll go lay down. My plan is working perfectly. I want my mom to think that I, Violet, have disappeared because I went insane and that way she'll never miss me. Then when I pretend to be Scarlet, <laughs> my plan will work perfectly. There's the makeup and now I just have to get rid of these glasses. Perfect! Now, where does Scarlet keep her cheerleading outfits? Hi, I'm Scarlet. I'm popular. Everyone loves me. <laughs> oh, hi, Scarlet. Uh, yeah, I am Scarlet. Have you seen Violet? I'm a little worried about her. She was acting a little crazy, and um, I don't know. I, I, I think maybe she needs to go to the doctor. Oh no! Last time I heard, she was packing a bag, and she was never returning. What? She, she, she's running away? Don't worry, I'm the better twin anyway. We won't even miss her. Bye, Mom! There's Cherith. Oh my gosh, this is amazing! What's amazing, babe? You're amazing. Look how beautiful you are. Oh my gosh, he doesn't even know that I'm Violet. He thinks that I'm beautiful. 
Wow, for the first time ever, people are paying attention to me. Babe, you're gonna get in or what? Uh, yeah, Jared, your car is amazing. Thanks, my dad just bought it for me. <laughs> We're rich like that. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Maybe someday when we get married, I can be rich too. Uh, yeah, babe, slow down. We're still in high school. We're not getting married yet. Of course, Jareth, of course. I can't believe we've been dating for over a year now. Me either. Ah, this has been the best year of my life. Me too. Uh, we're going to be graduating soon, and I'm going to be going to college, but... I hope we can stay boyfriend and girlfriend. Me too, Jareth. Me too. Uh, maybe we could even try to go to the same college as each other. Oh, wow. That's pretty amazing. I had pretended to be my sister for an entire year, and nobody had figured it out. I was happier than ever. Jareth was my boyfriend. I was a star cheerleader. The teacher actually called on me, and I gave right answers in class. Everything was perfect. I don't care if everyone thought I was Scarlet. I was never, ever giving her her life back. Little did I know my sister was about to escape down through the toilet and into the sewers. And things were about to get even crazier. So babe, do you uh, want to go to the movies? I sure do, Jared. Hey! Sister! What? How, how, how did this... How did, the, how did you escape? Violet! Holy guacamole, you look terrible. Violet? I'm not Violet. I'm Scarlet. I was locked away. What? You're not Scarlet. This is Scarlet. And she and I are on a date. I don't know where you've been, Violet, but you're crazy. Don't you see, Jareth? You're my boyfriend. This is Violet, and she locked me away in a, in a prison for a year. What? <laughs> Violet, I think you've got some head trauma going on. She tried to take over my life. Jareth, you have to believe me. But nobody believed my sister. And she had to now be Violet forever. <laughs> and I'm Scarlet forever. <laughs> life is good. <laughs> changed your pajamas and by the way it's noon why are you still in your pajamas daisy can't you see i'm busy mitch just died on survivor molly that show isn't even real it's so real in my heart it's real Ugh. i gotta eat some more doritos it'll make me feel better molly you're getting crumbs all over the couch Ugh, you're the laziest sister on the planet what are you talking about I, i'm not lazy I, i'm just choosing this life what is that you have? Some college applications. Dizzy, you're not going to college next year. I like to be overly prepared, and I'm thinking either Harvard or Yale. Yale or Harvard. I'm just thinking, I'm not going to make it through the rest of my life now that Mitch is dead. Molly, you really start, you need to stop thinking about your future. Um, I am. I'm sitting on the couch watching Survivor eating Doritos. Sounds like an amazing future. Molly, I'm telling you, if you don't get it together, you're going to be homeless, living in a box behind Brookhaven Dino. Well, that's not a very nice thing to say. I speak the truth, Molly. Well, how about this? I use that fancy smancy time machine that you created in your secret lab, and I go to the future and see what it's like. You wouldn't dare. Oh, try me. But first... I need to have enough energy to get to the future, which means I gotta eat this entire bag of Doritos. Mm, that's delicious. Oh, brother, I can't even begin to imagine what your future's gonna look like. Molly, are you sure this is a good idea? Sure, I'm sure it is. Sure, 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 and also sure. Wow, you're annoying. Hopefully you're less annoying in the future. I hope I'm more annoying. Annoying, 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 annoying. You couldn't even bother to change out of your pajamas. Why? I want to be comfy in the future. Ew, Molly! 
I got a little too comfortable. <laughs> Marty, step into the time machine, please. Okay, well, see you in the future. <laughs> Marty? Oh my gosh, it worked! She vanished! What's this place? And why is it in my future? Oh my gosh, I have no food to feed any of my children. I hope Luke stopped at the grocery store like I asked him to. Honey, sweetie, I'm home. And I got a new little baby for you. Another little baby? Holy guacamole, that's a lot of babies. I named this one Jerry. Oh, hi, Jerry. Honey, we don't really have any more money for kids. Well, I couldn't just leave him there at the adoption center by himself, could I? I guess not. Did you stop at the grocery store like I asked? We're out of milk and eggs and bread. How will I make French toast for dinner? It's your favorite. Oh, honey, I I had to get some new wheels for my race car. I, I, I couldn't get any of that stuff. But I have to feed the children. Oh, yeah. Well, um, yeah, we could, we could go foraging in the forest for some stuff. And wild berries and crab apples and... Ew, you know what crab apples does to me. Oh, honey, that was a good one. <laughs> wow, it stink terrible, though. Did you pick up the toothpaste like I asked? Um, no, I'm sorry, honey. I couldn't afford it. The wheels were so expensive. But, honey, I only have... Um, wait, let me count my teeth again. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six... I only have seven teeth left, okay? And one of them is giving me a toothache. Like, I need to start brushing my teeth. I need toothpaste. Before I lose all of them. Mommy, I'm hungry. Oh, Susie, I'm sorry, but your daddy didn't pick up any food. Maybe we could chew on his race car wheels. Well, I'm sorry, honey, but when I win that big race, you know what's going to happen. We're going to have all the money in the world. We don't even have a couch to sit on. Luke, why did I marry you? That was the worst day of my life. I made a horrible decision. Well, I've been working down in the Quickie Mart. I don't see you having a job. Hi, Mommy. Oh, hi, Mandy. Oh, wait, what was your name again? You never gave me a name. You said you'll get around to it, but you had too many other kids. Oh, well, um, well, you look like this girl I went to school with. Your name is Sarah. Yeah, that's it. Well, honey, why can't you get a job? Well, look at all these kids. Who's going to watch all of them? Oh, yeah, and there's also 10 more at school right now. They'll be getting home soon and want something to eat. We better go look for those crab apples. Maybe you could make a pie. I told you, I don't know how to make a pie. I didn't pay attention in home ec class. Maybe you should have. Maybe you should have gone to college. There's a lot of these kids we need to feed. Ah! This life's terrible. I'm running away. Oh, I'm sorry, but the kids are going to follow you. Mommy, where are you going? We need to have a mommy. Ah! My future is so terrifying! <laughs> it's time to bring Molly back to the present time. If she's in the future too long, she might affect what's happening there. And we can't have that happen. It would tear apart time and space. Molly, you're back! Whoa, uh, that was weird. Time travel kind of makes me feel like I'm going to throw up or fart. Daisy, my future was as dismal as you thought. Really? Tell me all about it. I would like to take some notes on this. No time, Daisy. I have to change what my future is going to be. Or, or I'm going to be doomed! Molly? Are you vacuuming the floor? Where's my daughter? What have you done with her? You must be an alien that's taken over her body. No, Mom. It's really me. I, I, I just I made a mess with all the Doritos I ate earlier, and I, I wanted to clean them all up. Molly, are you feeling okay, sweetie? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Next, I'm going to do my homework. What? Molly, turn off that vacuum right now and talk to me. Mom, I don't want my future to be as dismal as I thought. I, I saw it. Wait, you saw your future? What are you talking about? Never mind, Mom, but but I, I got to study because I got to go to college. I, I, I don't want to have 7,000 kids in the future and not know how I'm going to make them French toast. Molly... I'm worried about you. Maybe you should go lay down. Do you have a fever? No, I'm serious. I, I, I want to be successful in life and be a good mom and and not marry a 
race car driver who only cares about buying new tires for his race car, who talks a lot like he's um from Texas. Hey, there's nothing wrong with Texas. We're from Texas. I love Texas. Uh, yeah, you do have a point there. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm glad you're turning over this new leaf, Molly, and um, keep up the good work. But are you sure you're okay? I'm okay, Mom. I just, I just, whoa, is Survivor on? Mitch, is that you? Mitch, you survived! Okay, um, yeah, I don't, I don't care about any of that stuff. Definitely have to watch this. Bring it on, Mitch! Bring it on! But Molly, I thought you were turning over a new leaf. If it means that I miss out on watching Mitch survive this terrible fate, then I guess I'll just have to be a loser in the future. Ha, 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 ha.